Stay tuned for Air Gun Detectives. All right, guys, JC here. I'm with William here with uh, Scout Air Guns, and uh, we're going to get a little update from last year. So let's see what's going on All here. All right, well, I can tell you a lot more this year than I could last year. So we'll start out with the valve system. Everybody is really interested in how this gun works. Yeah. And we have a, a 400,000 orifice through the transfer port, which is a very large orifice. In fact, in most standard air guns, if you had that large orifice, you'd take a sledgehammer to open it. But okay. what we do is a little different. What we do is we have the plenum pressure works on this shaft in two directions. So oh, wow. it, it pulls it back and pulls it shut at the same time, but bias it slightly shut. Gotcha. So all we have to do is overcome a slight bias to open the valve. And the way we do that is we have a small burst of solenoid air from a solenoid valve at about 125 pounds per square inch okay. that comes up here and cracks, moves the valve open. Its total travel is only 45 thousandths of an inch. Then the high pressure gas that is launching the pellet goes down through a micro hole to this huge surface and shuts the valve. That allows for a real crisp shot. In fact, we can tune, we can take the tune of the gun, say from a 177 at sub 12 foot pounds, okay. all the way to 100, say a 35 caliber at um, 150 foot pounds wow. without changing a spring or anything really? in the gun. Just the adjustment with this? Just the adjustment. Wow. And that gets us to how we tune the gun. Okay. There are two regulators within the gun. The green regulator is a low pressure regulator. That basically supplies the pressure to the solenoid to open. Okay. And then the high pressure valve is a very unique valve because it can be turned up and down without dumping the plenum. So with many air rifles, yes. you have to dump the pressure yes, to tune this up and down. So the way you tune this gun is you set a high, primarily with the high pressure to get the velocity, and then there's a dwell setting on the board. And what the dwell setting is, not how much pressure, but how long the solenoid stays open. There are 40 settings, half millisecond between settings, which allows, so for example, if you um, set it at the lowest setting, was 10, yeah. the gun wouldn't even fire. You move up to 15, you hear a little click. Okay. At 19, it would fire. Okay. We like to go a little above that, so we've got 23 would be a perfect setting. Gotcha. And then you, you wouldn't have to mess with that. That would be, and you wouldn't have to change the low pressure regulator. Gotcha. You would just change your high pressure regulator to adjust your fine tune on your velocity. Wow, so you can really fine tune this to whatever style of shooting it You really do. can, right? And now, yes. let's go to barrel next. Okay. First thing, every gun comes with this moderator. Okay. The moderate, the, 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 you know, there's a large number of holes here. Those are all yeah. angled to dump the gas into the tube as the first stage. Okay. And then the moderator itself comes with a piece that's adjustable for caliber. So basically, you get this shredder. Yeah. So this, um, so you, you change this from 30 caliber to 25 or whatever, put that back, and then you would change the piece on the end here for your caliber and your probe, and that's how you change caliber. Gotcha. The, and, and the shroud stays the same? Yes, okay. although there's two lengths. Oh, two, so two lengths. You got but, the, okay. the barrels come in 25 inches, which is 625 millimeter, okay. or uh, 35 inches, which is 889 millimeter. Now, on top of that, though, with each caliber, you receive three inserts. You okay. receive what we call a plus, a minus, and a neutral. Okay. So the neutral is the standard size. Okay. The plus is one thousandths larger, okay. and the minus is a thousandths smaller. Okay. So that's so a barrel kit in thirty caliber, twenty five. It comes with three of these. Gotcha. The um, coating is very important as well. The coating is a nickel Teflon, has a phosphorus in it, which for hardness. But basically, as the barrel wears and it won't wear much, say a yeah. millionth of an inch. The yeah. Teflon's impregnated into the pores comes to the surface, so the more you shoot the barrel, the more lubricious it becomes. Nice. And it won't lead because there, there's nothing for it to, you can't nothing stick to the to Teflon. To. Right. Yeah. So it's much easier to clean. We know the whole story of Teflon pans, you know? Same thing. Same basic there idea. You go. That's Same right. basic idea. Um, people also ask, can we index the barrels? And yes, we can index the barrels. The way we do that, there's this cap comes out, got a lot of threads on it, it'll yep. get there. Yep. Um, so here's your liner, and the O-rings are very tight on this cap, so there's a mark, 
Okay. You can't see it for camera, but there's a mark on this cap. Okay. So I turn that nut, quarter turn. I just yep. index the quarter turn. Okay. Now the barrel will actually follow the threads back in. Okay. So it, it you will maintain that index. It's so you could set the barrel wherever gotcha. you want, okay. you know, and index it, shoot it, experiment with nice. it, and find out uh, where it is that you like it. The um, next we'll talk about the magazine. Yeah. <clears throat> First the Everyone sort of loves the way this magazine goes into the gun because the magnets ugh, can't see everything. So the magnets just pull it. Yeah. Right into Beautiful. place. Okay? Beautiful. Beautiful. And that. the uh, how many rounds is that? Twenty-two, I think, in thirty caliber. Twenty-two rounds in yep. thirty caliber. Yeah. Wow. The um, also magnetic lid. Thanks, guys. And we do things a little differently. In um, we don't put a stop block. And the reason we do that, we, we give you this so you can count your turns. Gotcha. So in 30 caliber, we like two turns. Okay. The 117, though, if you turn two, you would start to crush your pellet. So it's about yes. a turn and a half in 117. Okay. But it, but you can sort of play with them and figure out what you're comfortable with, how much pressure you want to put on your pellet. It depends on the pellet that you're shooting as exactly. well. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, and they're all billet, aluminum, Wait, the, the, whole high quality. the whole thing's metal. Yeah, the whole yep. thing's metal. Yep. Um, you got to like that. Then we have a fully adjustable stock piece in the back, up and down, very positive. Incredible. And same thing with the throw. Guys, talking cheek. about high end, this is about as high yeah. end as you're going to get. On yeah. top of yeah. that, the barrel locking mechanism is very unique. So this is the transfer block. Okay. The barrel slips into the transfer block like this. Okay. And there are two teeth that hit out here. Yeah. And basically our um, ratcheting system grabs those two teeth and pulls the barrel back taper to taper. So there's not a set screw or a dual set screw or anything like that, wow. and the barrel comes out in seconds. So it's very easy to swap very easy. that out. And then you have a sear, you have a, a, a support here, yeah. which is double O-ring outside and inside, to make, and with a tight fit, so that you have full support. The rigidity of the barrel is is significant. I know, I'm sure you've seen some guns that require extra kits to make them more rigid. Yes. yes well, without a this doubt. is a very very thick carbon tube. Oh, it's God. extremely yeah, it rigid, and when you put the, when you nice get these, light. this is great. When you get this the additional carbon tubes on your inserts, okay. what you end up with is a barrel that isn't moving much. Yeah, okay? not at all. And, um, and I just love how lightweight that is. Right, and then yeah. from a pressure standpoint, yeah. For example, I love um, 30 caliber, 44 grain mm -hmm. JSPs. Yep. In at a 915 feet per second with the long barrel, I'm shooting them at 73 bar. Or a hundred or a thousand one hundred pounds per square inch. Okay. That's low pressure means yeah. limited kick, limited noise. Yeah. And and we do our efficiency and, and, testing. And a significant shot count. Right, right. And we do our efficiency testing actually with fifty one point one five grain thirties. Okay. And we get a hundred shots. Wow. So that gives you a feel for efficiency. There are three gauges on the guy. Low pressure, plenum pressure, and tank pressure. Okay. They have this is a bleeder valve. So you, if you want to bleed your gun down at the end of the day, you hit this valve, it'll bleed off the gun. Nice. Um, the electronics, the gun talks to you, so we'll shut it oh, off. Oh, nice. You, have a, you, got a, you got a gun with AI that talks to you. So Does it oh, criticize you when you miss? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, so, and, and then as far as the trigger pull goes, it's, it's ridiculous. You'll probably hear it say fire fault. That's a fire fault. What yep. that means, I accidentally hit the trigger. It, it faulted for a couple of reasons because it knows my action's open. See, there's a little, you probably can't indicator catch this, there. but there's a little indicator. Yep. So now I'm closed. But on top of that, because the trigger's so fine, I have to push this actuating switch before I can fire. And we have three modes for that we have hunt, limit, and match. Okay. And hunt turns off all the sound in the gun and makes you hit that actuator every time you fire. So you walk it through the woods, you don't accidentally you just bump it and fire it, yeah. Match allows you to set a large window, 25, 30 minutes, because your gun's in a bench situation shooting, yep, and you know approximately up. the time, so you program it for that time, and then you don't have to hit it all the time. Yeah. And then limits in between, it allows you to program how long a window you want. If you want a minute window or two minute window, you can program it. It has another extremely unique feature called first shot drop and what that means is if a gun sits for who knows, 45 minutes at 100 degrees okay the o-rings can take a set 
they get more compressed than they normally are. Okay. So the first shot will tend to drop. If your point of impact's here, yeah. the first shot might drop here. Yep. Well, you can go into this gun and you can say, okay, after 10 minutes of sitting, add four milliseconds of dwell to my solenoid fire, and it'll compensate for that first shot and get your point of impact back where it should be. Now, the second shot, that all goes away until it yep. sits for the same period of time, gotcha. and it starts all over again. Now, uh, the gun comes with a Plano, hard Plano case. You can't see it here, but it's okay. it's a the real nice deal, gun. not a, not a, nice, and nice a gun case. Spare, spares kit, which you know comes with the tools, the grease that you need. Oh, wow, look at that. Valve tool, O-rings, extra springs, it's all included. We're talking high end here. What's the fill pressure on this one? 4,200 pounds. 4,300 4, 4, 4, pounds. 4,300? Yep. Okay. And then your battery is important. People want it. This is the battery in the gun. Okay. You can shoot a thousand rounds a weekend yep. for four months with one charge. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And then it's 20 minutes to charge. So, oh, the uh, gun comes with palm swells that are interchangeable so you can adjust for the hand size. We are talking amazing customization on this. From a standpoint of dealers and quick servicing. Yeah. These are cartridge regulators. So basically, if somebody needed the gun fixed, yeah. they, there's a hex key for a socket cap in here. Okay. And you can basically screw the whole reg out, screw another reg in, good to go. And you're good to Same go. Same thing with the valve system. Gotcha. So there's, it's, it's, it's a very simple gun. Oh, that's a good point. Many people have worked on air rifles before, and yeah. some air guns, it could take 25 to 30 minutes to get into the valve. Oh, without a doubt. This gun, yes. three screws, and then you take off the transfer block with four. I'm into the valve in three minutes. Unbelievable. So, you know, it's, um, um, so what else can I do, tell you? Do we have a time frame yeah, they're, out, they're out now. These are out now? Yeah. Okay, uh, we're guys. shipping 30 caliber. The okay. first, the rollout will be 30 caliber, 25. Yep. Then 357 and um, 177 will become, and then 22, unfortunately, not by design, is the last, because it took us longest to develop the barrel. Gotcha. But there, yeah, 30 caliber, and. Just to tell you how they come, in 177, we don't need this long barrel. So okay. it only comes in a 25 inch barrel. Okay. In 22, 25, and 30, the standard barrel is 25, the accessory barrel is 35. Gotcha. In 30, in 357 or 35 caliber, yeah. the longer barrel is much better because we need more barrel to develop the energy at low pressure. Get you a little bit more yeah. power. So we, yeah. Ship the 35 caliber with the long barrel. We okay. we don't recommend the short barrel. It is available if you want it, but your pressure is going to go up closer to 18. It's 1900. much better performer with a longer yeah. barrel. Yeah. Oh, and then coatings and colors. Okay. We, uh, so there's always been really lots of customization. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we're going to run a special situation this year for EBR and Rocky Mountain Challenge. If you yeah. are in the professional division and using our gun and you are the highest, if you if you make it to the top 10, and you're the highest performer with our gun, you win the Golden Gun. Oh, nice. So Kind of like just the Golden incentive. Trophy, right? Exactly. There you go. So, you know. Well, outstanding. And are these available on your guys' website? Is that yes. where they're? Okay. Yeah, and, and through, uh, you'll find them through many dealers across the U.S. The council nice. rolling That's in. pretty exciting, guys. Pretty exciting. Talking about high end, I don't think you can get more high end than this, that's for sure. Well, William, I want right, to thank, thank you, you. for yep. sharing that, giving yep. us an update. So once again, guys, scout air guns, check them out.